Everybody asks me. How. How to do the moose grind. How to do a herd management. How. How. How to do just. I guess anything, it's, it's insane how much I get asked this, it's actually nuts. So uh, I guess I'm gonna try to explain and what I do and what helps me and hopefully this helps you. So, all right. So the first thing I like to do personally is I like to go around and find every every uh what would you call this water zone it's a need zone but it's a drink zone there we go a drink zone need zone i guess you would say i like to go around on the map and find as many drink zones as i can find possibly or possible on the map and for medvid i don't really know exactly how many there is I've been told there's 120 up until there's 130 I've been told there's 140 I guess it just really depends on because everybody's maps a little different so so yeah the first thing you want to do is man you want to go around and find all your drink zones and the moose drink zones are from 1200 to 1600 military time which the weird it's weird how the game goes military time but that's just what it does and you want to go around and find all these and you also want to place your tents too like you want to make sure you want to get some tents and place down around some of these so you don't have to walk a million miles to get to your zone it would uh it would definitely help uh, and also when you do place your tents down for instance you want to make sure your tents are 200, 280 yards away from your zones. Because if you don't, every time you spawn in, you will spook your animals. And you don't want that, because that would suck. And that's a no-go. Yeah, see, I am like, what, 300 and something here? Damn, there's a big five there. What's up, homie? That's a big dude, but yeah. So yeah, after you after you go around and you find all your zones and then you place your tents down and you get your grind going. And then here comes the fun part, the grind, the grind. It's dude, the grind is I've been on my grind for a while, so I haven't even killed my great one yet, but we're we we're, we're grinding, man, we're grinding. So the one thing I get asked a lot is about herd management. And it's kind of hard to explain. I don't really know how to explain it that well. But I know with the moose, you have five levels. You got one, two, three, four, five. So for instance, you see how I have this really big five here? I'm leaving him because I want to stack him. But there's a two right there that I want to leave because supposedly if you get a lot of twos on your map, it helps spawns them in. And then the more fives you get on the map, it helps spawn in a great one or something like that. I don't really know. So the levels you do want to shoot is threes. You want to shoot threes and then I think, is he a four? I don't know exactly what level he is, but you want to shoot your threes and fours. You only want to shoot threes and fours. You don't want to shoot ones or twos or fives. Unless you don't have a diamond moose, then you can go ahead and shoot your first your first few fives just to get your you know your diamond moose, which that's what I did. But after I got my first my first few uh, diamonds, um, I start stacking. So that's that's what we're doing. And then yeah, man, that's that's pretty much what you do on that part. And your rares, your rares don't matter. You can shoot. You can shoot your rares, man. It, it don't it don't really matter. Rares don't matter. Always always shoot your rares. That's that's what I do. And yeah, that's. I mean, it's really not much to it. And the guns. I mean, you can use, the gun wise, man. You can use anything that's rated for a moose. Uh, the 308 rated for it. 
I'm assuming the M1 Grand is uh, 300, 338, you know, anything like that. You can use that, it don't really matter. Mm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't. I pretty much explained. I explained it. It's not really. Her management's really not. I mean. Now, herd management is a little different for every animal, but I'm just doing a moose one because, like I said, everybody always asks me, wonder, how do you do this and do that? And it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh, if anyone's wondering, this map is Medvid. It's Medvid Tundra map or something like that. I don't know the exact name oh I know the name the actual name is Medvid it's it's this it's the Russian Siberian snow map so if, if if you know anyone's wondering what the name is this is what the name of the map is and I don't know if the moose grind is similar on all the maps like for instance with the time and stuff I would assume it is but I could be wrong I don't really know I just figured I'd explain the moose grind because, like I said, my chat asked me like f freaking 500 times, hey bro, how do we start the moose grind? I'm a beginner and I don't know how. So I'm like, alright. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's 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 pretty much it. I don't. There's not really much to it. It's just... Once you set everything up, it's just a grind. It just takes the longest. The grind is just insane. Cause like I said, man, I'm about I'm about 700, 800, maybe 900 kills in to my moose grind, and I haven't even got mine yet. And so far, I've gotten I've gotten four diamonds and two rares. One of the diamonds I've gave to my uh, buddy Andrew because he helps me with the grind sometimes, and if he wanted a diamond moose, so I gave it gave him one. So, but yeah, man, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, just set up your tents, find your zones, and then start doing the grind and then kill your own, and then kill threes and fours and leave your ones, twos, and fives alone, unless you don't have any fives and then kill your first fives. And after that, start stacking your diamonds, you know? And then, like I said, rares rares don't matter. You can kill all the rares you want, so it don't really matter with rares. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's it's really not a lot to it. It's just I guess if you don't know it, then it gets confusing, you know. And herd manage herd management is pretty much self-explanatory. You're literally thinning out the herd with certain levels so other ones can spawn hopefully so yeah if this uh, if this helped you man uh, leave a like subscribe to the channel and uh yeah i, I appreciate it so yeah peace